We're live. Wiggity wiggity, what's up, YouTube? What's up, YouTube? I'm Zach. I'm James. And this is the Bite Size Podcast, episode 12. 12. So, you can hear in the background what you're listening to <laughs> Bitch Lasagna by PewDiePie. And uh, PewDiePie is uh, someone to talk about today because currently he is in a battle with T-Series and uh, beating them by quite a bit. And he is this close from 70 million subscribers. That's insane so, on YouTube. We're going to keep watching the counter as we go through the podcast today. And, and if he yeah, hits gonna... 70 million by the end of the podcast... It would be awesome, and it won't be clickbait. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I'm sure in the next day, PewDiePie will hit 70 million subscribers because he's currently at 69,809... Or 69,809,160 now. 64 now. 66 now. It right. just keeps rolling. Yeah, and that's all we're going to do today is just tell you how many he's at. 77. So, uh, no, yeah, T-Series is at 69, 175, 322. <laughs> No, that's not what we're doing here. We do got topics, but we do want to keep posted because we know that PewDiePie will soon be at 70 million. And uh, today is kind of a historic day for YouTube if that happens today. Yeah. Um, but he's definitely he beating T Series. 69 now, million. And he's two already. Days ago. <laughs> yeah. It, so. It's crazy how quick these things grow. Um, so. Not ours, of course. Of course, we can't hit 70 million. <laughs> Yeah, well, PewDiePie, I mean, he's growing significantly. I would be happy with half a million. Fast. Right? Just give us 100k. Yeah, 10K. shoot. 1k even, like, shit. If we could get 1k subscribers, that'd be awesome. Uh, uh, instead, we got one right now. But thank you, Bite Size listener. Not one subscriber, one viewer. You've got, yes. like, what, 314 right now? Yeah, 314 on the Zach to the Future YouTube channel, but... Yeah. Um, I keep up with that shit. We're trying to build the podcast as well. Because we want... Shit isn't demonetizable, is it? I don't think so. Um, I mean, like... I think it's bigger words. Like, oh, the word. The word, yes. Yeah. Um, <laughs> no, physical shit. I just pull out a Is that demonetizable? <laughs> Probably. <laughs> is, this, is this demonetizable? Probably. <laughs> <laughs> um, the word, yeah. I mean, I think pretty much every word is. YouTube demonetizes know, you for saying any word people, in English, any word in, not even bad words. A lot of people that watch every video gets demonetized. Only bleep out the bigger words like the F word or the B word. They may they be a little more ass lenient. And shit. Yeah. Um, Who cares if, this if it's occasional? We don't have enough to be monetized but, anyways. But you got to think once you become monetized, your whole backlog gets scanned and things can become unmonetized. By the time you get monetized, you'll probably delete all the videos from now. Probably not. I, I feel like I would be forever. the kind of person to keep if, them forever, yeah. I feel like if we did get People would go back though. and be able to see where it all started, how it all goes. But don't they demonetize it by the video? Not yeah. the whole page. Sometimes so they, they do, do the page. demonetize the videos If you I do really shit. bad things, they'll demonetize the whole YouTube channel. They'll delete your channel, even. Yeah. If you do really... Stupid, but I mean, if Logan Paul can go YouTuber. to the suicide forest and show a body and only get taken out of the most expensive ads for YouTube, then I think they'll be fine with anything I do. It's not going to be that bad. I'm not going to do anything bad, is what I'm saying. So, let's get started today with our first topic. Do you think that high schools should have daycare centers for the students' children? So many kids today are in high school having kids. Do you think it should be the responsibility of the high school if kids are required to go to high school until they're 18 even? Do they have, still have to pay for the daycare? Like they would in normal daycare? Or is it free daycare? I'm sure I don't think be... they should do free daycare. I mean, if they want to do a daycare where you have to pay... It would at least have to be offered. I'm not going to say if it should be free or not, but... The possibility should at least be there is what... I'm asking. Because I feel like... It should. Especially... If more and more people are having children before 18... You can't drop, drop out, out because they have children. Yeah, 
and they then it's more school. important than ever for schools to offer a way for students to have their children but taken care of. But the thing is, are there really that many kids in high school that need it? Well, it's not like every kid in high areas. school is getting pregnant. No, and especially in smaller areas like where we are, it's not as big of an issue. But you got to think in these big California, New York schools. When there's just such a large amount of students going there, there's bound to be... Right, at least in Indiana, we have the common decency to graduate high school first. Sometimes. But then right after high school. Yeah, or at least wait till you hit 18 and then get knocked up. I mean, these Indiana girls. <laughs> Cheers to them. <laughs> um, I mean, at least they made it through high school. They got all the shit they needed to get done. Yeah. It's debatable what you need to get done. and. But then it's like on the last this. day of school, you done messed up and didn't wear a condom. And then nine months later, shoot, that you're was... not even 19 yet. You got yourself a baby. Um, <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Let's, let's not... But back to the whole daycare thing. Um, maybe... Let's in, not bring prom into this. Maybe in some areas where it's like a majority of the high school have children... I don't know. I think it. Yeah. I think, I think it depends on what percentage of the high school. Once you hit a certain threshold. Children. Yeah. You should have to. Uh, you should have to. You shouldn't have to. You really shouldn't. No, that's you true. You should keep your fucking dick in your pants until you get out of high school. Okay. Well, care. that would have been a beat. That's my personal opinion. <laughs> uh, yeah. But, uh, no, I agree. I. Sorry. You shouldn't have to do that, but that shouldn't if be they did that, it would be it a is. good idea. Yes. It's starting to become necessary. Um, on the PewDiePie versus T Series race, um, he's at six hundred sixty-two now. That's four hundred more than when we started. Four hundred. Yes, but T Series is quickly climbing. They're at one sixty-nine million one hundred seventy-five thousand. T Series now. is still about six hundred behind. Six hundred thousand. It's quite a gap, but I can see T Series closing it. They're gaining a lot of they steam. They haven't done it yet. I don't think they'll do it. Could happen. Honest. There's a rumor going around that T-Series, that everyone in India who makes a YouTube is automatically subscribed to T-Series. <laughs> if someone could let me know if that's true. If you're from India, let us know. Are you subscribed to T-Series? And if you are, did you choose to be or did they choose you to be? And if you're from um, uh, Sweden... Uh, did you automatically get subscribed to PewDiePie? I think so. I think everybody who buys furniture from Ikea automatically subscribes to yeah. PewDiePie. Yeah, as soon as you eat a meatball, you hit that subscribe button. A Swedish meatball. Yes. To clear. Ermadur. Yeah. I'm uh, a chef. Every time you eat a meatball, every time you open a pocket watch. When you put Swedish or, balls in your knife. mouth. Wait, that's Swiss. I'm sorry. That was Swiss pocket different. knife. My bad. My bad. Take a Swiss pocket knife. Swiss and Cut Sweden open are... a Swiss meatball. Swiss and, and put Swedish those balls in your mouth. Thing, huh? Swiss and Swedish are two different things. Oh. You didn't know that? Who's the cheese? Because one's from Sweden and one's from Switzerland. Switzerland. Okay, okay. <laughs> but Swiss cheese. So it's Swiss cheese is from Switzerland. So it has nothing to do with PewDiePie. Okay. Ikea. But. Sweden. Here's the crazy part. I heard that PewDiePie actually likes all Man. kinds of cheese. Oh. Um, <laughs> he likes cheese in his... Men. Men. <laughs> he likes cheesy men. <coughs> and um, that's why PewDiePie is growing so fast because he's... PewDiePie, uh, if you ever see this and you have a beef with me because I said you like men, bring it on, bro. Call me out. I dare you. You are calling out PewDiePie here? Yeah, I'm calling him out. Call me back out, Pewds. What's up? Oh, man. you Calling out PewDiePie, that's like calling out Eminem. This is some hey, real MGK we stuff We call out here. PewDiePie, PewDiePie hits it, back. Yeah, some real MGK shit. We're going to get so much popularity if PewDiePie calls us back out, which probably won't happen. But if it does, fuck you, Pewds. Okay, PewDiePie, if you're gay, don't call us out. To clarify, Zach is subscribed <laughs> to PewDiePie, and I am not. Oh no! But he's also not subscribed to T series. If he gets to sixty-nine million nine hundred ninety-nine thousand nine hundred ninety-nine, I will try to be the seven millionth subscriber to PewDiePie. I told somebody I would give them my check if I ever hit one million subscribers. Your whole check? Just the check I get right after I hit a million subscribers. Oh. Which will probably be decent if you got a yeah. Million if you got a million subscribers, yeah, I think at hundred k you're making good money off of YouTube. 
Maybe. Yeah, I wouldn't know. At 314, you're making nothing off YouTube. Shit, even the guy I watched, Jack Mate, who's demonetized, all of his videos are demonetized, he still makes like $350 a month off YouTube. Wow. So. Brand That's deals and stuff. Demonetized. That's how you do it. You got to get in with Pop Tarts and Speedway. But we can't get in with Speedway anymore because no, I shit itself. talk Speedway. And from YouTube, yeah. Just because they pay you for having subscribers, not just for advertising. Really? Yeah. Huh. Weird. Yeah. Um, so, T-Series, as I was saying, is... Uh, bitch lasagna. <laughs> bitch lasagna. <laughs> so, we're calling you out, T-Series, as well. You think you've got magic in the air, but you don't have no magic. You barely even have air. <laughs> you smell like fart in the air. So take that bitch we're lasagna. Not, we're not saying all Indian people smell like farts in the air. No, just, just, just T-Series. Just, just T-Series. Tea series. Don't take this the wrong way. We're not... Uh, oh, shoot. This is where it all At goes wrong. At least he didn't say anything racist. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Which is good. <laughs> uh, except for those damn Swedes. That's no. not racist. That's stereotypical, I think. Yeah, that's just... I mean... Saying that they shop at Ikea and all the subscribers <laughs> come from Ikea. Yeah, I mean, PewDiePie does get the... And I only got the whole Ikea thing from Good Mythical Morning anyways, so... Yeah, I mean... Where they did an interview with PewDiePie, or... I... They went over Swedish, or sweet... Swiss? Yeah, Swedish. 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 Stereotypes of PewDiePie. And they've got that guard kafunkel that's... 810,000! thing. Oh, dang. He's got another... 400 since we've been talking about him. He's grown like first crazy. 400, yeah. He has so far gotten about a thousand subscribers just in the 12 minutes. And the messed up part life. is that PewDiePie doesn't deserve it. Please elaborate. Do you think he does? Yes. You think PewDiePie deserves 69,810,009 views? He just went down one. He went up. He went down two. Think about and it. And up six. Think about it. He dude. can't lose. You know who else would be up there with him had he not dropped off the planet of the Earth? Who's that? Tobuscus. Uh, they still were does huge. Stuff. They got huge. He still at does the stuff and people time. lost interest. Yeah. PewDiePie, people didn't lose interest. So therefore, he does deserve it because he. How many of those viewers do you think actually still watch him? His videos only get... Only get... Ten. Two-digit mills. It's whatever. Okay, fine. <laughs> he does get a lot of views still. Way more than I'll ever get. But I just feel like... Some people watch certain channels for certain Nobody series on deserves that 69 million And they only watch that series views. per that channel, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. PewDiePie does it. A few different series, so people could just watch one series of PewDiePie, but still subscribe I, to him to see when that series comes, you know what I'm saying? I think of PewDiePie in a similar light as I think of Donald Trump. He does things that would make him fail, and it makes him bigger. Um, which is what somebody just said about Post Malone as well. But PewDiePie had his whole thing with saying the N-word. He's even bigger. He did the thing where he was called uh, racist and uh, Nazi and came back bigger. It blew his name up. It was His name was in everybody's mouths after That's that. That's what we call clout. PewDiePie is a clout king and he knows how to use it. That So therefore I do think he deserves it because he's smart enough to do that. You know what I'm saying? Maybe, man. But he used it for there's a, a difference benefit, between being Logan smart... Paul and being good. Whereas Logan, and Logan Paul does Paul, all their stupid shit. I don't it think doesn't he deserves how many he's got either. I am glad PewDiePie's got more than Logan or Jake Paul. Because I think PewDiePie is way better than them. But yeah. He does I've rely on a lot of things. I've seen a lot of people hating on Logan and Jake Paul. But I've never seen anybody like love Logan and Jake Paul. Oh, I have. Yet they still They're have like little so kids, many though. subscribers. Yeah. Yeah. My... Uh, and my a lot of Logan little and Jake cousin Paul stuff is not loved kid Logan and Jake Paul. Yeah, they and they're a bad influence on him. Yeah. If I ever catch my kid in the backyard setting a fucking couch on fire in the pool, I'm gonna be pissed. We used to do that. Okay, technically that <laughs> we've never done. But 
That sounds like something we might have wanted to do. We have started back in the day. In our days. Yeah, you know. We used to do a lot of drugs. No, that's. I'm not just kidding. kidding. <laughs> <laughs> but we still do a lot of drugs. No, I'm just no, kidding. that's not true. <laughs> we have done. Here's a up to date counter. We have done sixty nine thousand or sixty nine million one hundred and seventy two. 175,640 drugs. Drugs. Different drugs. All Different drugs. ones. All of them. Yes, that's... that. I would say 69 million is about all of them. I. No, we're only halfway there, bro. Oh, wow. Yeah. We're living on a prayer at that point. <laughs> <Doing> the... <laughs> uh, we, we'll be living on a prayer doing that many drugs. We've talked a lot about PewDiePie and only about one of our topics. But hey, that as is long true. as it's working... <laughs> is it working though? Because I mean, uh, we've talked for fifteen minutes and it doesn't got feel like zero we've been viewers. For 15 minutes. But hopefully, you guys watch this. Let us know what kind of topics you guys want to hear about down in the comments below. We love comments. Not enough people comment on these things. Um, so all in all, you would say no on the daycares for high school. I'm saying it depends. Do you think there's like a ratio that once you get to that point, then high schools should offer it, even if it's for some cost? I agree. I think that there should be some number that if, if, if the it percent means that hits kids that aren't much, dropping out, then yeah. if it helps that, then yeah, definitely. Definitely. Even if it's one person in the office who just watches somebody's kids for a few hours, you got to do what you got to do. Yeah. Um, I put a star next to some of them. Yeah. Was this, there a star well, there's next to that one? There's only one more. Yeah, that one had a star, and this one had a star. Chocolate, vanilla, or strawberry. We started We're to talk about this. <laughs> Are we? That's not what I had in mind when I read the question. I was thinking just of... Just uh, kind of flavor in general? No, no, I was thinking ice cream. I'm just kidding. Oh, I was like... What else? Oh, I'm shaking the <laughs> camera. That pen's not working. Um, but no, ice cream. And you said your answer beforehand was strawberry. Um, I prefer sherbet over ice cream. I have to... And therefore, I like strawberry ice cream. I don't know if I follow that logic, because I like ice cream more than sherbet, but strawberry is probably the best of chocolate, strawberry, or vanilla. Vanilla is a little plain, bland. Yeah. and chocolate's plain. It's more exciting, but it's kind of played out. Everything is chocolate these days. And chocolate's really filling. You ever notice that? Like, yeah, it's kind of thick of and heavy. Ice cream, but only like half a bowl of chocolate ice cream. <laughs> yeah, it depends how rich it is, and... Uh, strawberry is just kind of a good balance. It's fruity, it's fresh, it's... I like vanilla ice cream with chocolate in it. Like Yeah, like I like the swirls and stuff like that. Yeah. Something like that, some Reese's Cups maybe. Oreos, yeah. Chocolate cups. I just like ice cream, I think, is my thing. Um, but yeah, between those three, I would have to agree. Strawberry is probably and the I best. I did just have some ice but... cream that was like an orange creamsicle. Yeah, yeah that sounds was... really good. It was really fun. Uh, Arby's actually used to have a orange uh, dreamsicle milkshake, and it was really, really good. Yeah, and then Taco Bell tried to make an icy. Yeah. It was an orange dreamsicle. I kind of liked them. Yeah, it was all right. It wasn't the same, but it was pretty good. It was different, for sure. Yeah. Um, the texture and the consistency and whatnot. Do you think that horror movies are becoming too predictable or too cheesy? I don't think there are horror movies anymore. What? I think they're all thriller movies now. Thriller because movies? Because they're predictable and cheesy. The topic, you, or the genre, you dumbass. Oh. oh. <laughs> well, well, I, I, I mean, I could see that. I think they're jump scares. Mostly. Which is... Jump scares in... Uh, a thriller movie. Yeah. This, the, or gore. I mean, the Saw movies are straight gore. It's like... If you got a weak stomach, you can't even sit through those movies. I was watching one the other day. The guy sticks his arm in the machine and it just saws through his whole arm. Camera goes back and his arm is just hanging off, split in two ways. <laughs> it's like, what's the point of this? This isn't scary. It's just gross. It makes you squeamish. Just, right. It makes you think, like, who just comes makes you up say, with this shit? Ew, yeah. Like, it's you, how, why would demented. You think of that? Or the human centipede. 
You know about that? Yeah, that's they messed up. Sew someone's lips to the next person's butthole and it yeah, makes it centipede. Yeah, that's not horror. That's just disgusting. And then there's the human caterpillar where they cut off your arms and legs and you're just a torso in the same way. And then uh, there was another one. Man, I can't even remember. But those movies are so messed up. I haven't seen any of them, but I know the stories. These are pretty old movies, though. But compared to nowadays, like, I just went and saw The Nun. It wasn't all that scary at all, actually. Yeah. It was more about the story. Like the Annabelle the movies and uh, Conjuring. Those weren't really that scary. Same series. Yeah. But yeah. That's the most recent one I've seen. I heard Get Out was pretty good, but it's not a horror movie. Get Out was actually really good, but that was more of a thriller, like you said. And, but they uh, labeled it, it as a It had a movie. good story. I was surprised how good so, that story do was. Do I think they're getting cheesy and predictable? Yes. Yes. But I would argue they've always been cheesy and predictable. More or less. They were less more predictable less. when they first came there out. There were more storylines when they first came out. But I feel like... Backstories, all sorts of shit. But it was now it's just jump right into the story. This is the story that happened. No backstory, no further story. Just yeah. this piece. And they're making a lot of them into series. It's, Series? <laughs> just series? to sell them. Yeah, just people to keep like horror movies, movies will go. So if you make a horror movie, you're guaranteed to make a little bit of money because there's right. only you so like many the horror movies one, out. You're gonna watch Conjuring the Two and Annabelle and so on and so yeah. forth, just because they're made by the same people, even though necessary. The Don't crash on us now. If you guys crash on us. Bite size podcast uh, episode twelve. I think we're good. PewDiePie is at sixty nine million eight hundred and ten thousand five hundred and sixty view or subscribers right now. <laughs> Way to go, PewDiePie! Um, I bet you a hundred that I'm watching dollars just the video. that T series will hit seventy million before PewDiePie. What? I bet you a hundred dollars. The T series will hit seventy million before PewDiePie. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> no, like There's no way that's, that's gonna happen. Yeah. Uh, PewDiePie is officially like six mil, six hundred thousand ahead. That's that's pretty staggering. And the T series is gonna close the gap a little bit, but I don't think they're gonna overtake PewDiePie again. Six hundred thousand and thirty. No, six hundred thirty-five thousand to be exact. Wow. I didn't graduate high school, but I could do the math. <laughs> also, I didn't graduate high school, but Zach spelt superheroes wrong earlier. <laughs> Superhero, schmooper, pyro. <laughs> schmooper, pyro. <laughs> Speaking of which, do you think in real life, if there was superheroes, would it be good? The Incredibles 2 kind of looked at that a little bit, but do you think in real life, like, that's good or Civil should... War looked at that. A lot of movies have started to, yeah. It's a different yeah. dynamic when we live in this world like, where yeah, movies Like, yeah, you save the Earth, but you also destroy all of good... New York City. Yeah. So... <laughs> Which led to Spider-Man's villain. And it's kind of just... Who a... is picking up the waste. So, yeah. therefore, superheroes made that villain. But it was... And they created Ultron... So, maybe not. Maybe superheroes are bad. Is that what you're saying? In real life, if there were superheroes. Which I do think there are superheroes in real life. Just not like super powered superheroes. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I mean like There's firefighters or fire superheroes. Paramedics. Not necessarily police. But <laughs> firefighters and paramedics. Not necessarily police. Oh, come on. Police can be heroes. They can be. But... I would then agree. again, they can be dicks. There's some bad cops. Yeah. And, you know, there's bad firefighters too, I'm sure. They just are less in the public eye and can do less. They're just jerks on their free time, and then they go put out fires, you know? I just realized that both Zach and I are wearing button-up shirts of different colors and hats of different colors. Like, it's red and blue. Yeah. yeah Bloods versus Crips right now. What's up? <laughs> <laughs> Horror movies are not getting predictable. This is bite-sized horror. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't see that one. What if I actually just killed him? 
Would you guys keep listening to this? Would you keep watching this on YouTube? I think we'd get more viewers. Probably, yeah. We'd probably shoot up quite a bit if people I just murdered watching. you. Yeah, people. So would. what you're saying is one of us should murder the other one right now. <laughs> oh, what am I doing that for? I got a knife on me. Okay, okay, guys. <laughs> Thanks for watching Bye, guys. today. <laughs> um, <laughs> we'll see you when PewDiePie hits uh, 70 million. But by next week, he'll be at 75, so um, watch that. Maybe superheroes would be good because uh, they could save me before James kills me. With my pizza knife. That's a pizza. <laughs> Do you want a pizza that knife? <laughs> I don't. Anyways, guys, this has been the Bite Size Podcast. Wiggity, wiggity, we're out, YouTube. Check out Killjoy Official with a Y, not an I. That's K Y L L Joy. Sixty nine million eight hundred and ten thousand eight hundred and seventy eight. Seventy six. <laughs> it changed. It keeps changing. You can't keep up. He's with gone it. up three thousand in the last twenty five minutes. Wait, let's play a game going out. Uh, All right, you ready? What game? Okay. Ten word story. Okay. So you say the first word, I say the second. Yeah. You say the third. Yeah. Okay. We go to ten. Yeah. Okay. There was a boy named. Ooh, what's her name? Josiah. And he sucked a lot. See you later, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Even though a lot's a two-word. Oh, got him! <laughs> <laughs>